Ohio is one of a number of states that is on track to play high school football, and that has some implications we need to talk about after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You gotta help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. So it's college football related, sports related. We have a good time today. We need to talk about Ohio joining Texas and Oklahoma and Georgia and others who have decided they're going to try to play football this fall at the high school level, which is good news if you are a Buckeyes fan or an LSU fan as four of the top recruits in the country, let alone the state of Ohio, are going to be able to play football. They include guys like Jack Sawyer, Mike Hall, Jaden Ballard, and of course, Reed Carrico, who you heard on this show. Also, Corey Klein, who is headed to LSU. Devontae Smith, who is headed to Alabama. And Ohio comprises like 700 plus districts and a bunch of high school football coaches got together to put together a proposal for how they want to go about doing this. It was given to their federation. Their federation came back with a few changes. Among them, they encourage coaches to wear masks, but they're not going to necessarily mandate that they wear masks. That might change. They're going to try to create an environment that allows for maximum social distancing, probably going to limit stadium capacity. And this is interesting because, like, for instance, Oklahoma, in where I live in green country in Tulsa, there's been this long-going rivalry between Texas high schools and Oklahoma high schools here, right? So a couple years ago, Mansfield ISD came through and got sunned by Bixby Union Jinx and some of the big schools in Oklahoma where we, we play a little football, all right? But more than that, we're supposed to have another one of those games this year. They've been axed because everybody's trying to limit travel this year to try to stop the spread of COVID-19, which means that here locally, Bixby and Union, two of the better high school football programs, not just in the state but in the country, are going to play each other. And if they get to have fans, feels like it's just going to be parents and perhaps some limited media folks. I assume some evaluators will be able to come through if that's one of the things that they are looking forward to, like guys that want to recruit their kids and everybody wants their kids recruited. Meanwhile, I'm excited that get to see guys like Jack Sawyer, get to see guys like Reed Carrico go through their senior season. And most of those dudes have had blinders on. They've been told, hey, look, we're going to prepare like we're going to play until they tell us that, that we can't. And you heard Ben Chrisman on this show speak about, yeah, he wants to play high school football, right? He wants to get better. And the only way to get better at playing football is to play football. We can talk about drills. We can talk about going through it. We can talk about weightlifting and we could talk about speed and agility but what it takes is man on man going after each other seeing how your leverages work running through progressions as a quarterback going through your routes challenging yourself against the better competition in your area now football is also the antithetical sport when we're talking about COVID-19 because this virus spreads through fluids which is one of the reasons that we are wearing cloth mask or at least most of us in public to stop, you know, sneezing and coughing and sweat from getting on each other. And I can't tell you where all those things happen more than the Petri dish that is a football program. So I'm cautiously optimistic like I am for all the sports as I am doing this segment on the day that Major League Baseball officially comes back. It's opening day where we're going to get to see the Yankees and the Nationals play, get to see Garrett Cole in a Yankees uniform. I also am looking forward to watching Johnny Cueto and... Clayton Kershaw get into it. Maybe Clayton Kershaw, Walker Bueller do that uh, staggered deal that they're thinking about. Matter of fact, Tampa Bay is actually talking about playing with five infielders and two outfielders, depending on situations. So this is going to be an interesting 60-game sprint. And as a experiment, all of this is going to be interesting. Like from the sports perspective, knowing that you're going to be in this kind of environment across the board, at least for the fall, I think is we're going to learn a lot about how we go about the logistics of playing football, playing baseball, of the NBA, of how difficult it is just to put on a high school football game, let alone try to get the kids in and out in one piece and to keep them safe. Now, I think that the more money a district has, the better they are going to be prepared for what's coming their way. I don't worry about the larger school districts. I don't worry about where I'm from, Tulsa Union and Jinx and Owasso, I worry about McLean, I worry about Booker T, I worry about the small schools, I worry about the schools that don't have a lot of money coming in and the ones that have to reopen for the purposes of 
remaining open in the future. Even in uh, the Tulsa Public Schools District, where I'm a graduate, they're talking about on again, off again days for the kids to try to get through at least this semester and try to split the student body up into two different groups while also encouraging masks and whatnot. But at the really young level, I mean, it's going to be different that the kids just can't wear the mask. They can't keep them on. They'll try to trade masks. You know, this is going to be a challenge for so many people involved. And we're really dealing with a series of bad options. We're trying to pick the least worst option among them all while trying to get a little bit of happy. And what makes this country so very happy is playing American football at all levels, right? We want to see it played at Pee Wee. We want to see it played one stripe, two stripe. We want to see it played in middle school, at high school, at college, and definitely at the NFL level. But right now, it's going to be about how bad do you want to actually have it by being disciplined in the safety. Because knowing that four of the top four recruits in the country, right, uh, just coming out of Ohio, and all four, of the top, all four of the top Ohio kiddos are committed to Ohio State, but also Ethan Downs here in Oklahoma is one of the top players in the state, Kendall Daniels, who is going to make his decision on August 1st among LSU, Clemson, and Oklahoma, and A&M. He plays at Beggs just down the road from me. I always want to see the next group of great kiddos coming up. Brennan Presley, who's going to be a true freshman at Oklahoma State, won the Oklahoma Player of the Year Award. His little brother, Braylon, might be a better football player than he is. Their older sister, Brandy, has set school records in the 100 meters at Ole Miss. I just want to see the Presleys do whatever the Presleys are going to do. I know that last year we saw Brendan Walker and Dominic Richardson here locally at Oklahoma City McGinnis show out. Brendan Walker's headed to Oklahoma as a true freshman. Dominique Richardson signed with TCU and then ended up having been released of his last letter of intent from Texas Christian for reasons that are nefarious. Ends up at Oklahoma State where he's going to be a running back among five on the depth chart behind one Chuba Hubbard. So there's a lot to unpack here, but what it's going to take is everybody being on board with the, well, restrictions in place for trying to get through the season because starting the season is one thing, finishing the season is something else entirely. But knowing that some of the top high school football players in the country get a chance to enjoy their senior seasons and to build on outstanding high school football careers is going to be tremendous for me to watch because, you know, we're talking about kids that routinely rush for 2,000 yards. Like losing Travion Henderson's senior season for him is heartbreaking. For us, is debilitating because that's a kid that I really want to see what he could do now that all eyes are truly going to be on him. But it looks like he's just going to go through the rest of his fall semester, graduate, and head to Ohio State. So that's the way it is for him. It's probably going to be the way it is for Corey Foreman and Jake Garcia and Miller Moss and Troy Franklin and a number of other players that just have had their high school football season, for the most part, taken away from them because they'd already had plans to early enroll. But for those that get to play in California in the spring, I'm happy for you. Just keep the faith for the next four months, and we'll get through this. All right, that's it for me. Deuces.